double sticks. <clears throat> Good morning, Toastmasters. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. These are not actually called double sticks. They are called devil sticks. When I was younger, my dad didn't want us calling them devil sticks, so we called them double sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I've been enjoying this hobby since I was a young boy. Today I'm going to present a brief history of devil sticks and give a demonstration. A set of devil sticks comes with three sticks. Two that are the same and one that's different. The two that are the same go in each hand and you use those sticks to spin, twirl, and juggle the other larger stick. Today devil sticks are most commonly associated with the Renaissance Festival. The exact origin of devil sticks is unknown. They are believed to have originated in China in the distant past in the form of simple wooden juggling sticks. The first provable appearance of devil sticks is a picture of the brothers Moody and Madua Sime, printed in 1820 in Prague, which is in Central Europe. The brothers announced to do Chinese stick play, but they themselves were of Indian origin. Between the years of 1830 and 1850, Indian jugglers were highly influential. We can find many copycats as well as their student, Carl Rapo. That's an image of Carl Rapo there on the left. And on the right is an image I found of an early Indian stick juggler. Although the Samay brothers and Carl Rapo are the only verifiable devil stick performers during this time, there may have been others. The general knowledge of devil sticks spread among the general audience, but especially among performers. In 1906, we have Adelaide Purvis Henry and Rosa Lee Henry the first ladies of devil stick. Some of the performers displayed in this act performed in Australia after a successful career in America. They are the first confirmed devil stickers in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> devil sticks didn't always look the way that they do today. This is a Japanese man named Yona. What we see here appears like a devil stick, but is unusual in shape. These sticks likely fused with the devil stick styles of China, India, and Europe in the early melting pots of Europe and America to form the basics of what we consider devil sticks today. Our next performer is a gentleman juggler. His name is George Latour. This video was taken in 1939. It's the first video evidence and the first time in history we see devil sticks being performed with pool sticks. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. In the 1950s, devil sticks were no longer exclusively for performers anymore. Hobbyists began to practice them as well. The hobbyist scene exploded in the 1970s. By the time the 90s rolled around, devil sticks had become an undoubtable part of juggling culture. Devil sticks continued to evolve. The end result is our modern day devil stick. I first started practicing devil sticks when I was about nine years old. My oldest brother taught me, and I have already started passing the devil stick skills off to my children. I first started learning by simply passing the stick back and forth on the ground until I was able to lift the stick off of the ground. I then moved on to more complicated tricks, and my brother had me practice this on the ground. <laughs> And this quickly turned in to this. Oh. 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 So, allow me to give a demonstration. Wow. 